Learned man treats all women except his wife, his mother, looks on others' property as garbage in the street and treats others as he should treat his own self. Yes. Automatically this will come out. One is a devotee, one has acquired real education, one knows Krishna, he sees Krishna everywhere. Prahlad Maharaj, a great devotee. Uh-huh. He says, Ekanta bhaktir govinde jatat sarvatra tadikhyanam. Ekanta bhaktir govinde jatat sarvatra tadikhyanam. Who is a real devotee, a kantika bhakto, a nalad devotee, complete surrender soul, pure devotee, he sees Lord everywhere. He saw the Lord on the pillar. Whereas his father Hiranyakaship couldn't see. So when he sees the other women Matruvat Paradharisu, he treats all women as his mother. He never sees. The woman, three, Josit. The word Josit, Sanskrit word for woman is Josit. The very word signifies that if you just look at a woman, if her eye falls on a woman, immediately the sense of enjoyment comes up. Oh. She is an object of enjoyment. I'll enjoy her. The very word Josit signifies this thing. The Sanskrit word for woman is Josit. But a learned man treats all women except his wife as his mother. But one who is a learned man will never develop such attitude. He knows. Those are not learned. They will develop such attitude. By seeing a woman, this attitude develops. Ah, an object of enjoyment. Even if one's own wife, one should know. She is not the object of enjoyment also. Because Learned man never treats his wife as mother, that's a fact. But a learned man should treat those real learned, a devotee, should not treat his wife as also as an object of enjoyment. Because Krishna is the only enjoyer. Angi sarva jagyanam bhokta cha prabhureva cha. Krishna said this thing repeatedly. Ambhokta. Angi sarva jagyanam bhokta cha prabhureva cha. Krishna says, I am bhokta. I am the enjoyer. I am prabhu. I am the master. Bhoktaram jagyantapasang sarvaloka maheshwaram. Upadrashta anumanta cha bhokta bhokta maheshwaram. Repeatedly, you will find in Bhagavad Gita how Krishna said, I am Bhokta, I am the enjoyer. Huh? So, Krishna is the enjoyer. Krishna is Kanto. Kanto means husband. 
and all others are kanta. Do you know the word kanto and kanta? Huh? Don't know? Yeah. In Brahma Sangita, that is verse. Sriyo kanto kanta ha. In Vrindavan, Krishna is only kanto. One kanto. One husband. All others are kanta. His wives. Objects of enjoyment. Huh? You are just chanting. Go pi basana haro. So? Huh? Go pi basana haro. He stole the garments of the gopis. Why? Those who don't know, they criticize. Oh, what is this? Yes, Krishna, if Krishna is a supreme personality of Godhead, he must put up something ideal. Huh? Supreme personality of Godhead must put up something ideal. Others may learn. How is it? That is tall, he is gopi basana hara. He stole the garments of the gopis. Is it an ideal thing? How is it? What is the purpose? What's the tattva behind it? One should know. What's the purpose? Thereby, he saw how he is the only kanto, only enjoyer. Nobody else is enjoyer. All others are kanta. He saw thereby that he is the only kanto, the only enjoyer. And Krishna has the right. Only Krishna has the right. Nobody else has this right to steal the garments of gopis. No. Nobody else has this right. Only Krishna has this right. His kanta, his enjoyer. He saw this thing. Therefore, gopi was on horror. Ah, the fools, the so called learned scholars, they cannot understand. Why did Krishna put up an ideal thing? Is it? But when he came, Lord Chaitanya, he was very strict. Huh? He was very strict. Ah. Even the women never come to him. They pay obeisances in a distance. Ah. You understand? Striyo, he said it, Striyo, the woman. Hmm. In Bhagavatam, all the Vedic scripture, it is stated. Ah, Narkasya Dvara. If you will be attached to women, huh, then your gate is open towards hell. Hmm. 